Hello. So this video's title has no relevance to the actual video itself. I made a piece of code to try and find the top trending topics on YouTube and Google and it just incorporates that into the video's title. Now, I'm going to make the results I managed to get from this script publicly available. So stick around to the end and I'll show you where you can get that link from. Um, so before I jump into the code, uh, I'll talk about what I actually did, like in real actual terms. So there's a site called uh, Google Trends, which shows you what topics are trending on Google. It's a Googly, Googly? It's a Google owned website. So everything that Google owns, their trending data is here. So for example, if I do a search term like wealth, you can see that um, the relevance here of the United Kingdom, and you can see England seems to be the top trending one for looking at something considered wealth. Now, you can see related queries here like Commonwealth Games um, and that sort of stuff. Um, and you can talk about sports here. So Google Trends divides into two parts relevant topics and relevant queries. So queries that incorporate the word and topics that are similar to that. So yeah, I managed to get words from here and you can see the stretches over 25 queries. And what you can also do is click on one of them and it will do a, a query search for that and then you can get a whole another set of lists for relevant queries and relevant topics. And so you can keep doing that to generate ideas and, and concepts. Now once I had a list full of words, I then incorporated this. So this right hand section is something called Video IQ. Now it's a Chrome extension used to show what the relevance is for a certain niche or topic on YouTube. So let's say for example, I type in Digital Wealth Pros. It shows me volume here. So the number of search queries that are used that are using this type of keyword and the competition here. And you can see that the volume is fairly high by 60. I mean, again, this is normalized out of 100. So 60, and the competition's hardly any. Um, I know there are some videos here, but they're fairly small. There aren't, there aren't many ones talking about that particular topic. So what the Chrome extension does, it gives you an overall score out of 100, like 80 out of 100, saying this industry is very good for you to develop a topic in, or develop a YouTube video in, or at least get your niche in there. So what I managed to do was hack this apart, and I managed to get some code from here, and some code for Google Trends um, in a Python version called um, PyTrend. Yeah, PyTrend. And I managed to incorporate that all together and it gave me a huge list of data and compared those trending values to what particular industries would be worth building videos for. And so I built a piece of code that does that. Um, I can't actually show you the piece of code because I'm, I'm technically hacking a piece of software and I believe the terms and conditions of that video IQ so software said you can't do that so I can't actually share the code but I can show you the output of the code so this is the data I managed to get the file available on github so I'll give you a link below and you can go check it out so if you want to start a YouTube channel with this particular topic in mind you are very likely for your YouTube channel to be seen so that's basically what this does um, I did this because my channel is quite small and I wanted to build up some traction on it so I thought this would be a pretty cool idea or a pretty cool way to generate new ideas. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about the data, at least the data set, and you can have a rough idea of how it works and what it looks like. So if I show you the data set, I'm working in Pandas. It's a it's sort of using programming to show an Excel spreadsheet. But you should be able to put this, it will come as a CSV file and you should be you should be able to import this into Excel easily. So if we say DF you can see the data looks like that on the left. Yeah. Now, to show you what the columns look like, so if I say df.columns, so I'll show you the volume, competition, overall, and estimated monthly searches and keyword. So they're all pretty useful data features, but for now we're just gonna concentrate on the overall. So if we then do something like this, so if you don't know what programming is and you don't know what this is, I'm just getting the keyword column for keyword overall and I'm just sorting them by overall value. And I'm just going to call that false. And what that does is it shows us the top um, the top values and it shows us the lowest performing values. So these could be low for a, a different array of things, either the there's no there's no one searching for the content 
or there's too much competition there, or both. And the ones that have high scores are where there's not much competition, but high volume of searches. So, yeah, you sh again, you should be able to easily import this into uh, Excel and then run this data that way. And you really, you could just find out what particular industry you want to go into. Like, for example, if you want to do Bitcoin um, analysis, you could just make a Bitcoin video and really nestle your YouTube channel into this particular industry because clearly there's a large amount of volume and even when I did my searches um, you can see here there's a large volume and not much competition for just the keyword Bitcoin but bear in mind if you type in something like Bitcoin C you can see how the, the value can actually change so it's purely based on the keywords keyword search so, by the way, if you are still interested in Bitcoin, I did build a program to do some derivative Bitcoin trading on Deribit. I'll give the link below if you're interested in that too. But besides that, I think that covers everything. So, yeah, I wish you luck building a YouTube career. I, I do personally think building a YouTube business is more stable than building a cryptocurrency trading business. Uh, that's enough for me. Uh, wish you luck and goodbye.